Well, today I'm going to give you a tour of one of my favorite campsites. But first I'd like to demonstrate to you if I can get this to stop moving quite so much is the view of my hammock at the point Pretty snazzy, I gotta say. I got my uh, my pull string, so I can uh, you know get myself rocking if I need to. And uh, there you have it. Is it hammock? And I will take you back to the campsite itself. We're just gonna. Jaunt. It's my way of getting away. Uh, here we are, back to my home sweet home. My little tent gets the job done. Right next to the water. We have over there a clothesline. We have our kitchen set. And the crew playing cards. This way to our little uh, fireside. From the point of the campsite, this is our view. We got our canoes parked back in there. Valet. side of our parking. The uh, tent pads. More clothesline. The reverse backdrop to our campsite. Which leads to way back there. That was a little trail here. That goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. Now, if you haven't figured out where I'm going yet, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to give you a little view of what we call the grumper or as what my crew has dubbed it as, the clapper. <laughs> um, this is uh, what I've been going to the bathroom in uh, for the past, so oh, give or say, month and a half. The chalice of glory. Yes, this is our porcelain throne. And as you can see in this campsite, we were lucky enough to have number one. I'm not going to show you inside as just a courtesy to the viewer. But, uh, if you didn't notice, that was quite a long jaunt. Hence, if you wake up in the morning, all of a sudden have to go right now. Jogging is not out of the question. So, it's probably one of my, uh, more favored campsites. Um, to me, it kind of gives a bit of a Lord of the Rings feel all the trees and the hills and the, mm, excuse me eggs good tent pads great hammock spot good fishing all over and go back behind the tents it's one of my 
favorites, I have to say. And then this is uh, my little clothesline, trying to dry out my uh, my guide pack and pants, which dry out surprisingly quickly. And now we're back to my little home. And uh, past my waterfront. Take you back up to my hammock. Reverse side. Back out to it. And there you have it. That was, uh, we arrived here day four. Um, we're staying here all day, day five. Uh, and we'll leave for base camp tomorrow, day 6, the 21st. So, that's how I roll. That's work for me. Gotta say, it's pretty sweet. Um, miss everyone back home. And, uh, catch you guys on the flip side.